Well folks, hello again and welcome back to another wild camp. Don't know if you recognise this location. I'm sure most of you will. This is actually Ben Laws, which is very popular within the hill walking community in Scotland. And I've camped here before and I've been up the summit of this Munro that I'm doing many times as well. It's called Mail Nantarmic and and I might go up to the summit again, but it's not my priority. There's plenty of good camp spots on this path on the way up it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to camp near this path. The weather is to turn overnight. Unfortunately, we're looking at high wind speeds and a bit of rain. So I suppose I'm just going to try and keep the, the camp as simple as I can and maybe try and stay in a shelter spot. I'm also going to be making up a hopefully a successful meal tonight as well. And we'll just have to see how that goes. But yeah, it's a really lovely location this. Plenty of trees around. Yeah, see I can not mean like a lot of people in my videos moan about the lack of trees in Scotland, so just thought I'd mention that. Albeit they're not the biggest trees, but it's a lovely place, like a really, really nice place to start the walk. And it's worth mentioning, if you are looking at bagging some minerals for the first time, it's quite a beginner friendly area. The paths here are really good. And the start point, well, it's about 450 metres. There's two car parks. You've got the main one down at the bottom, but if that's full, there's actually a car park further up just before the dam, which is actually free as well. And it's a fairly, it's a fair size. You, you could easily get about 20 to 30 cars in it. So anyway, enough of the location. <laughs> Let's get up to the, the camp spot. As I get higher and higher up this mountain, it's becoming more and more obvious why I need to pitch in a shelter spot. This wind is driving me insane. And you know the worst bit is, it's not even cooling me down, it's still really warm when I'm moving anyway. I'm certainly feeling cold now that I've stopped. But um, yeah, I'm def definitely going to have to find somewhere sheltered uh, near the summit of this, this Munro. Yeah, let's just keep going. The tent is finally pitched up and looking good for tonight folks. Pegging ground is pretty good as well and I'm in a very sheltered spot. I think that's quite important for tonight that I stay sheltered from this wind forecasted to be about 40 miles per hour tonight. That's wind gusts though but at the moment it's very gusty up there you can hear it hitting off the summit. Yeah, it wouldn't be very pleasant up there. My last camp on Mjell Nan Tarmacan was actually on the summit with Big Monty and the weather was perfect all night. It's the opposite tonight though, isn't it? It's uh, quite miserable. I just wonder if that's me and the clag for the rest of the trip now, considering that this was not forecasted until later on. I was actually hoping to get the tent up and then head up to the summit then come back down and get my gear set up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the gear set up by now and then hopefully this is just a, a passing cloud. Yeah, let's get the let's get the tent set up. So I've moved the tent about maybe 20 yards from where I was previously pitched over there. 
listen to this. And this has happened many times on the hills for me. Perfect phone signal there. Yes. No service there. Honestly, perfect. Bumming, the best good I've ever had probably for camping as well. It's short grass, it's flat, pegging ground's good. I'm pitched right on the edge of bogland over there. But, um, yeah, I decided that I was going to maybe lie in the tent and the weather's crap. So, you know, no brainer. Let's just move the tent. So what I did is, uh, thankfully I've got my freestanding tent tonight, the Southern Cross 1. You can change the location of it without taking the tent down. Like if I had my N in tonight, yeah, it would have been nothing but hassle, you know. But yeah, uh, so the tent's, well you've just seen it. You've seen how long it's took me just to get back to the path. So, same situation as Ben Lady, the weather's not very good. Don't want to be wandering miles off a path. Um, it's a very easy path, this one, for descending back down to the car as well for the morning. So, yeah, I'm heading up to Summit now. Well, the weather is half decent. So, yeah, let's get this mineral bagged again. This is it folks, the summit of Neil Nan Tarmacan, once again, done. Ah yes, no views to show on this one, and uh, yeah, I'll um, just going to quickly show you where we want to start on the So yeah, that's where we camped, and uh, the weather was perfect that night. Monty had his drone up and oh, it was great. Um, not great tonight though. I should really probably quickly take a photo of the summit before I head back down because I'll probably not come back up. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to get a bite to eat. So what I'll do is I'll get a photo of the summit and then I'll catch you back at the tent. And I'm going to attempt to make this meal. Hopefully, this meal is more of a success than what this trip has been so far. It's been a bit of a shambles, I'll, I'll be honest with you. It really has been a bit of a shambles. Right, quick photo. Alright folks, so the summit's done, the tent is up. And this is why I came here tonight, to try and make this meal. This is going to be interesting. So I think it's called Schnitzel and I think it's German and basically it's just smashed up pork with breadcrumbs on it Can't be that hard can it? So I brought a smashing device I've got a rock that I found and I'm just going to whack this meat for now until it's flat Probably a good idea to roll my sleeves up I think it's the first time I've handled raw meat. I made a chicken wrap last week. Uh, well, it was a previous camp anyway. And I just tipped the uh, the, uh, the the chicken upside down into the the pan. It was pre-cut already, so didn't have to handle it. But tonight, well, yeah, we're handling it. It's going to be fun. So. Yeah, I've never made this before, so this is going to be interesting. Let the fun begin. <laughs> maybe I got maybe here. Oh, I didn't even think about it, wind. Mm, see the wind, man? A pain in the bloody arse. Oh, the wind, Gary's off work. Right, send the wind this way, boys. Right, anyway. Should we go there? What could possibly go wrong with this one, folks? Oh. 
people who are going to be walking by are thinking, what is that guy up to? I don't think you may be putting holes in the right enough, but yeah, I'll blame the rock underneath. Oh, I've put a hole in my chopping board, mate. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the end of that one. Oh well, as long as it lasts. I know that I'll not be making this again then. How thin does this need to be? I don't know. Oh, there's blooming grass all over it. Oh! Gee! Yeah. Those wayfarer meals are more appealing. Oh, especially when the wind won't go away! What on earth is that? Oh. Alright, so that's stage one done. Smashing the meat apart. And ripping your chopping board up and then smashing a spider. Oh dear oh dear. I was hitting the, hitting the meat and the spider just came in anywhere. You know what I mean? I don't like spiders. Nearly smashed it. Oh, I got a fright. Tell you that. Spiders are just dangerous, man. They bring danger on themselves. Right, so basically, there's an egg in here. And basically, what you need to do is you basically need to get it all covered in egg, get it all sticky, and the breadcrumbs stick to the meat. So, excuse my nose. Basically, oh, it's a bit of a sticky mess, this. I've got a wee bit of egg here, and I'm just gonna. I brought it a wee bowl. I'm gonna try and. Get this nice and sticky, the meat that is, and then hopefully the breadcrumbs will stick to it. Because if it doesn't, then the breadcrumbs won't stick to it, will it? Did that make any sense? Hopefully the meat will stick to it. No, hopefully the egg will stick to the meat. Ah, do you know that? Can't even remember what I just said. <sighs> Bit of a shambles, but there we go. It's all nice and eggy and sticky. So what to do now? Uh, I don't even know what to do. Uh, put that back in there now. My hands are a mess, man. Right, so cooking oil. Uh, let's put this just a tiny wee bit of cooking oil. Don't think we need a lot. To be honest, I don't think uh, this needs to be cooked for long. I'm all over the place. Right, I don't think I've ever seen anyone cook schnitzel on a camping video before and I can tell why. It's a bit of a mess. Right, uh, what's next? Uh, breadcrumbs, so how am I going to do that? I don't know, I just don't know what to do. Uh, let's see. I don't know if I should just sprinkle the breadcrumbs on. I don't know, they're just, I'll do it in the pan. The only problem is, uh, I need to wash my hands again. So I'm going to lightly sprinkle the breadcrumbs onto the schnitzel, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, that's a bit messy. Is that how you're meant to do it? Just a tiny bit of breadcrumbs. I don't have a clue what I'm doing, mate. It's not even sticky to the meat, is it? Do you know what? I'll just pour the egg in it. Oh, God, no, mate. This has been a disaster. I don't know the best bit is. Oh, that's, that's not right either. Oh, why did I do that? Seems like. <laughs> You've got to try new things every once in a while. I guess the more times I do it, the better I'll get at it. I mean, like, that's, that's true. But right now, there's more breadcrumbs on the pan than there is on the meat. Just said. I think you've gathered that. I don't, I don't think I need to tell you that. Do you know what? It's all part of the experience. Drove all the way up here to attempt to make this meal. And 
it's not gone very well. I guess I could just light up the stove and see what happens, eh? You know, I've got plenty of breadcrumbs in here and maybe if I start cooking it, the breadcrumbs might stick to it, you know? Oh, the washing up will be good fun tonight as well. Is that how you mean to do it? Absolutely no scooby. Doesn't really want to stick at this side. I mean, at the end of the day, as long as I've got something to eat, I mean, like... I don't think it really matters. But the point is, I've tipped like half that tubby breadcrumbs into this and it, none of it's really sticking. Absolutely no scooby. I mean, like, should we just go for it? I mean, like, I could pour the rest of this egg over there. Try and spread it. Burgers and chips next, guys. Something simple, although even something simple is a disaster to me, right? Mate, the meat isn't even cooking! I wonder why? Maybe because there's about four inches of breadcrumbs under it and it's separating the meat from the pan. Oh. Yeah, just a thought. Just a thought, guys. As long as I cook it, I mean, it might taste okay. The good thing is, I'm making a gravy. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Oh, it's something else I can make a mess of as well. Ah, I'm having fun. Leave me alone. So, what, what do you guys want to see me try and cook next? Let me know in the comments. Can't be any worse than this. Just don't say schnitzel, okay? Got any heat? I don't even think that. Wait, wait now. Let me change the gas canister. Just bear with me. It's not even doing anything. Blame the gas canister. Bear with me. Uh, yeah. By the time I make this meal, I'll be four in the morning. The packing up and gone. Here we go. Now you guys can see why I buy Wayfair meals. I could use the excuse of I don't want to. Oh, it's, ah, just bumped my hand now. <laughs> ah. Oh, this video's a shambles. <laughs> Maybe there was a bit of heat coming out of that after all. Oh dear, that's what I get for slagging that gas canister. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, you can see why uh, I don't cook on camping trips. <laughs> because I can't cook. I'm bad enough in the kitchen. Oh, there's, pl there's plenty of gas in that. Just saying. Right, let's try again. Let's try again. There we go. Oh, I forgot to put the thing on. Yes. Oh. 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 Two minutes aside or whatever it is. Oh. Yeah, I think we're going to have to call it quits with this on. <laughs> Although, got the meat. <laughs> Just put it back in the bag, eh? Just put myself out of misery. Right, okay, so this is pretty much nearly cooked. And thankfully, that stage, so basically stage one done. I'm going to take that off, just leave it in the hot pan, because I now have to try and make a gravy, which is also going to be a disaster, probably. Now, I like a really thick, juicy gravy. So, we'll see how this one goes, right? Just leave the stove on. Right, okay folks. So, another spoon here. Let's see. Uh, just gonna make a nice wee gravy here. I'll put a few sp 
spoons of this in to begin with and then I can always add more in if I want a wee bit more uh, flavour uh, yeah, we'll see see how we get on with this one uh, so it's about 300ml of water you have to put in you can see the fill line on the jet boil which is good so I'll just fill up to there I don't know if you're meant to boil the water first but we'll see, we'll see how we get on Oh, I just realised I need to take this uh, attachment off. That's going to be absolutely roasting. some point in this episode of my terrible cooking I did actually think that I wasn't going to have a dinner that was gone that badly but please do report that I have got a gravy albeit it is a bit on the runny side but I'm ready just to pour it in eh? I'm quite hungry and at this point I'll eat anything so it's just schnitzel with some gravy eh? nothing special just going to pour this lightly over the top Schnitzel does taste quite nice cold but it tastes really really nice with a wee light covering the gravy and uh, yeah I've got a wee fork and knife here to, to eat it up so what I'll do folks is I'll eat this, this will still taste quite nice I just made a complete fool of myself there for the last probably hour I've been cooking this um, uh, but yeah it'll still taste quite nice at the end of the day so I'll eat this and then to be honest, the weather's cleared up, so I might take another wander up to the summit. But for now, yeah, I'm going to have this. I have to say, folks, this is an awesome camping spot. Once again, me on the Antarctic does not disappoint with these views over to the Ben Moors group. And I know there's a lot of cloud there, and a lot of it's blocked out by the cloud. But it's still really nice to look at it, you know. And I'm uh, just really glad the, the cloud has cleared in the end. It's a view I'm very familiar with though, just taking it in. It's a shame that the, um, the cloud is to come back down during tonight and tomorrow we'll be in the cloud pretty much all day. I think I've already mentioned that the wind speed this weekend is to be quite bad uh, particularly Saturday, Sunday uh, Thursday night this was this was filmed this trip so yeah I'm just gonna enjoy the last couple of hours we've got until sunset it's coming up to about half past eight it took me ages to make that meal but it's all part of the experience it really is a I mean, you could make a wayfarer meal, it'd be done in 20 minutes, but probably not even that. But I'm going to, okay, I'm going to have a go at cooking more often, guys, you know. Some, some, uh, you know, some attempts will be a success, some won't be. But if you do have a suggestion on what I should try and cook next, get in the comments and let me know, and I might try it. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the tent, but yeah, my location rate will be based on this view. So I just want you guys to have a look at it before the end of the, the evening. Back at the tent, and I thought I would let you see the same view, but further back, if, you know, where the tent's position. The reason why I pitched further away from the edge is because of the wind that was forecasted. There is nothing stopping this wind changing direction at the end of the day. And it is hitting the tent a wee bit more. You might actually see it moving. You might even hear it on the microphone. Um, so yeah, there's nothing stopping this wind changing direction, you know. And it is to get stronger tonight. And then it's to die down at about four in the morning when I'm probably going to start packing away. So 
Yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up, I think, for this evening. I don't have anything else planned. I'm going to get in the tent and relax, watch a bit of YouTube. Um, the view over the Lawrence range is quite impressive, it's got to be said, from here. So as long as the view still exists <laughs> and the clouds don't drop, um, yeah, I think uh, that's what I'll do. I'll just sit in the tent and look at the views. So, yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow morning and hopefully the weather will be okay, but yeah, we'll see. Good night. Oh, good morning, folks. And as forecast, it is very miserable out there. It's like half past three in the morning and I'm actually going to start packing away now as planned I think it was roughly to start just packing away once I got up um, yeah I kind of want to get back home quickly um, and the reason for that <laughs> makes it sound quite sad actually is uh, limited parking in the street um, there's a lot of work vans kicking around, a lot of people's houses are getting done <laughs> and uh, if I'm not home for about 8 <laughs> I hate getting the car parked, it's as simple as that so if you try and get home for about 7 this does mean I want to get back to the car for about half past 5 which does mean I need to be leaving here for about half past 4 so yeah let's start packing away and uh, yeah <laughs> miserable getting a bit fed up of rushing off the hill in the morning yeah let's get packed packed away suppose that's me ready to put the tent in and as you'll see leave no trace again Uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty much packed away. Everything then went in a wee bit better than I thought. Almost feels like I've forgotten something. But I don't see anything. Uh, I always check the area before I leave. That includes where I cooked, which was just behind where the tent was. You've probably seen it yesterday anyway where the tent was in the background. It wasn't far away from here. Just too boggy down here to cook. And uh, I didn't, I didn't want to leave the tent door open and let all the spiders in uh, some mad spider crawled by yesterday and gave me a fright when I was uh, mashing up that meat No, oh, I forgot to put the tent pegs in uh, uh, I'm wearing my waterproofs on the way down so I'll just leave them where the waterproofs usually sit uh, and if I have to take the waterproofs off at any time then I'll deal with it later but it's only an hour's hike back down to the car from here uh, so I'm not filming this hike down and uh, it's a good path um, it just shows you how easy this moon row is in good weather but uh, yeah just as always it's still a moon row so just be prepared for any conditions you might face because this one's still over a thousand metres high at the end of the day it's true what Walk Island says it's simple walking Ben Laws but it's uh, quite exposed to the bad weather because of the height up here you know Ben Laws especially uh, and Stook as well that's a very narrow peak if you want to do a difficult route in Ben Laws then definitely the Stook 3 is uh, a route I recommend it's probably the most difficult group of Munro's in this area is at the back of Ben Laws but it's a, it's a good view like for sure all packed and ready to leave and before I wrap the video up I think I'll give this a 7.5 out of 10 this location for camping um, I think that score will stand it's nothing to do with the weather I've been up here enough to know what the views are like and I think what really helps this area is there's actually a lot of room in this area uh, for multiple tents you know you could pitch where I was initially if you don't care about phone signal or you can really just 
you know, distribute the tents around this kind of area behind me. It's, it's a really large open area and a lot of the ground is quite flat. So not a bad viewpoint, plenty of pitches and as always the pegging ground is quite important when you're on the Munros for wind. Pegging ground was quite nice, eh? it was okay. So yes, I'm going to wrap the video up here and head back down to the car, hopefully in reasonable time. So I do hope you've enjoyed it, and as always if you have, don't forget to give it a like. Possibly subscribe if you're new, this might be your first video, so yeah, maybe subscribe. And definitely get involved in the comments, eh? Until my next trip, take care folks.